Welcome to Ecoholics. In this video, we will discuss about certain important things, important books for UGC Net Economics examination. Now, you know, UGC Net Economics is an important examination and you will become an assistant professor. So you are actually eligible for becoming an assistant professor in any university, either private or government, either central or the state. So we can understand in this video because UGC last time when this particular examination conducted by a national testing agency NTA they have actually refined this particular syllabus now you know if you have seen the new syllabus of UGC net economics that is divided into 10 parts like microeconomics macroeconomics growth etc so here I'm actually telling you uh, the important books that you have to read before qualifying this examination as JRF if you read these books you can actually easily crack this examination. If you read all these books, your examination will be like a cakewalk. So just important books I am telling you. If you are having or if you read any other book substitute regarding this, just mention in the comment box. I'll tell you that this is you can do it or otherwise you can refer to any other book. If you have read any particular book, you can make that as your basic book and around that if I suggested some other book you can make as a reference book. So I hope you understand whatever I am here saying that regarding UGC net examination the important thing is that you have to cover the syllabus irrespective of the books. But a lot of students keep on asking me that please tell us about the important books that you have to read. Because whenever you are reading a book, suppose you have read a wrong book for about 600-700 pages, it is a waste of time as well as we can say some concepts if there is some wrong or we can say if some concepts are not very clearly defined, then it will be a struggle to read a new book. So that is why this is a list of book that I am giving you that you have to read in order to qualify UGC NAT with JRF that is Junior Research Fellowship. So first of all, if you have seen the new syllabus, it has divided into 10 parts. So first part consists of microeconomics. So here we are writing that microeconomics. For microeconomics, the best book is HL Ahuja. So the advanced microeconomics HL Ahuja is very important. The second book regarding for macroeconomics is generally I prefer Richard Fran, although this book doesn't suffice all the concept, but whatever the concept given in this book, these are crystal clear. In order to subs substantiate, we can say you can refer HL Ahuja as well for macroeconomics. So HL Ahuja will give you vastness in this examination and Richard Fran will give clarity about the concept. So you can refer any of these book, but for the concept, if you are having this Richard Fran, then you can refer and for coverage because wide syllabus and in order to give a coverage you can refer HL Ahuja macroeconomics. The third syllabus that subdivision of the economic syllabus they have given about mathematical economics. So for mathematical economics if you are not from mathematical background you have to read 12th as well as 11th class in CERT for our basics. If you are not able to understand that NCRT, you can just message us because we are also having the course of mathematical economics on our mobile app. So you can join that particular course if you are not able to understand anything. Otherwise, if you read 11th and 12th class NCRT, that will suffice your preparation for the basics. And for that, there's another book known as Mathematical Economics by Chiang. And that is a good book. You can refer that particular book for your conceptual clarity in the examination. The fourth division is statistics and econometrics. Now for statistics and econometrics, you have to refer two separate books. For statistics, you have to refer S.P. Gupta. Although this book is quite bulky, but what you have to do, you have to uh, actually pick out the topics which are mentioned in the syllabus. So no need to read whole book, but this book gives you vast coverage of all the topics. For econometrics, the best book is Damodar Gujarati. So you have to read this book, certain important topics you have to pick and you can refer this book. 
so these are the four important the next is that fifth one is international economics for international economics there is only one book that is referred as bible that is dominic salvatore this is the best book you will find all the topics mentioned in the syllabus in dominic salvatore the sixth important here is public economics or generally known as public finance for that there is one book by h l bhatia so h l bhatia's book is pretty good and there are some useless topics as well so you can leave them you can read the topics which are mentioned in the syllabus only the seventh one we'll see so if you want to take the screenshot you can take it otherwise i'll rubbing it so for the seventh one that is money and banking now for money and banking the best book is sb gupta so suraj bhan gupta this is a full name so sb gupta is like a small book a novel of around 200 pages so you can understand i can read like a story this is the best book for money and banking the eighth one we are having is environmental economics now for environmental economics there's one book called colstad charles colstad this is the name of the book so you can refer that book for a few topics and you'll find uh, these topics pretty easily in this book and you'll after reading this book you'll make certain kind of understanding regarding the subject of environmental economics now in environmental economics there is one another in the same module that is known as the demography so for demography you have to refer ml jhingan book now under demography this actually we can say paucity of books so ml jhingan gives you lot of coverage for the topics and in this particular book they have given the theories quite elaborately so you can refer this for demography ml jhingan the next one we have is growth and development so growth and development for this there's one book known as ap thrill wall and this is a best book for growth and development you will find lot of concepts lot of theories in this and if you are not able to buy this the r k lekhi will give you better coverage so people are asking which one is good so i prefer for ugc net especially the lekhi is a good book because it will give you vast coverage of all the theories because in ugc net they ask about your horizontal knowledge not the vertical knowledge it means they will ask about coverage not about depth of the topic much in comparison to the horizontal the last is the 10th one that is indian economy and for indian economy mishra and puri mishra and puri is the best book because it will give you a vast coverage for this examination so i hope you understand all the books concepts regarding this you no need to read books cover by cover what you have to do put the syllabus and match the topic and read only these topics so apart from this we are also having the courses of ugc net economics on our mobile app as well as paper 1 paper 2 both we are providing and we are having around 87 selection last time that is for december examination 2018 we got 87 selection and among these 87 selection 15 were jrf so if you want to enroll for ugc net economics you can visit our website ecolix.in or either you can contact me directly on my whatsapp number given in the description of this video so i hope you enjoyed this lecture these books are very very important that you have to read if you read any other book you can mention in the comment box that these books i have read what i have to do and what we will suggest you apart from this if you like the initiative of ecoholix please give a big thumbs up to this video and please like share and subscribe ecoholix like share this video as well with your colleagues with your friends etc so i hope you understand thank you so much see you soon